all the best boxing content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and punch that bell for notifications. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black with white stripes, weighing in at 162 and three quarter pounds, with a professional record of 11 wins, two coming by way of knockout and 12 losses from Detroit, Michigan, Leon, something to prove, Pearson. And his opponent, across the ring, wearing white trunks, weighing in at 160 and one half pounds, his professional record, 14 wins, nine coming by way of knockout, and no losses. From Catskill, New York, representing love, peace, and happiness, Leonard Pierre Anasta. Gentlemen, we went through the instructions in the dressing room. I expect you to obey those commands at all times. Touch them up, go up the ball. Okay, six rounds of boxing from the super middleweight division. Leonard Pierre, the local prospect from Catskill, New York, coming in with a 14-0 record against Leon Pearson from the Motor City, Detroit, Michigan, 11-12-3 with two knockouts. This one's scheduled for six rounds. Here's the young prospect, Gus. We'll see what he's got tonight. Put a little people into the house, a little cheering section. Had a chance to talk to his father before the fight, and Leonard Pierre is a native of Haiti, and he's excited. His father encouraged him to go down to the gym when he was a young man, and now at 14 and 0, 24 years old, he is ready. And he comes out working quickly, going to the body, followed by a straight right hand. Pearson fighting out of the southpaw stance, and you saw Pierre lead with a straight right hand. First punch of the fight, and he's going right after him. Good head movement by Pierre early on. Pearson just covering up. Pearson with experience at 11, 12, and 3. See Pierre just trying to get his punch. Seems a little, little, little wide, white right now. Needs to get his distance against the southpaw. Work that jab and straight right, right down the middle. 14 and 0. You can see that he's trained in the cat skill. Has that custom model style head movement. But Pearson answering back with the combination as he continues to cover up. 24 years old. Pierre is going to the body, which is something a lot of young fighters don't do. Try and wear down the veteran. He's been in with a lot of a lot of guys, but that means he's hanging in there. So you got to try and just wear him down in a six-round fight. Leon Pearson from Detroit in the black trunks, 31 years of age, 5'9", 162 and a half pounds. And Pierre really busy early on, having no problems landing combinations. Here in the first round, pivots and delivers the overhand right, grazing the top of the head of Pearson. You see why Pearson's a veteran, that little flurry that Pierre had. Rolled his shoulder a lot, moved his head back, trying to, trying to just miss the punches just like that. He's making Pierre work, but Pierre's right on top of him. Scheduled for six rounds. Pierre, the busier fighter in the first round as he continues to move forward. And you can tell that Pearson is a veteran. As you mentioned, Tony, he stayed poised despite the uh, onslaught from Pierre. Nice right hand by Pierre, and he's moving in. Seems like he's found his range from outside, but he gets a little too tight. He can land some nice punches, but just keep that distance. There's a right hook followed by a left hook. He steps to his right. Most of those punches hitting the gloves of Leon Pearson. And Pearson does flurry. He goes to the body for like a one-two, then he stops. Nice left hand by Pierre. <laughs> Wide punches there, followed by a step back right hand by Leonardo Pierre. Pearson got a nice little shot in there, Gus. 
Pierre's punches are wide, so there will be opportunities for Leon Pearson. Coming to the end of the first round, scheduled for six out of the super middleweight division. Very entertaining, action-packed first round from Poughkeepsie. Round two scheduled for six out of the super middleweight division. Leonardo Pierre in the white trunks against Leon Pearson in the black trunks. And Pierre, the busier fighter from the very beginning, continues where he left off here in the second round. Just piling up punches, Gus. He's digging those shots, but if Pearson is smart, he can just time it, a straight right or a left right down the middle. Not those wide shots, a straight shot down the middle. Might back up Pierre a little bit. There's a right hook by the southpaw. Pearson, as he backs up, wants to use his jab a bit. Speaking of the jab, Pierre, he's walking and not jabbing. He should be snapping that jab, and he's squaring himself up against the southpaw, which is not a good idea. Give him an angle, walk away from his right hand, go to his, go to his left, that's Pierre's left, or circle back around with the jab. Use some distance. See, Pearson keeps going to the body, and, and Pierre keeps throwing that right straight, and Pearson ducks under it every time. Look for, for Pearson, maybe come up with some kind of a left. Right, and, grab him. And with Pierre's wide hooks to the body, Pearson has him in perfect position to land the uppercut. See how Pearson is standing? He's giving him half a body to, 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 to work with. But Pierre's coming in straight up. Nice combination. But he missed a couple there, Gus. As Pearson just steps back, Pierre, the really busy landing hook after hook. Now, Pearson starts to move. Pierre missed an awful lot of shots in there, Gus. Hope he's in shape. Now some reddening under the right eye of Leon Pearson. As he stays in the corner, boxes off the rope, slips a left hook and then a right hook. I'd like to see Pearson throw an uppercut because he's got Pierre leaning forward with it's that It's wide chin. open, isn't it? <laughs> you see it. <laughs> Should have been a fighter. There's a hook to the body. Then he goes upstairs. Oh, beautiful left hook by Pierre. Nice shot bottom. inside. There's a very good body puncher inside, but I wish he jabbed his way to get to that position. Pearson sneaking in the right hook to the body. Continues to back up. Pierre very aggressive early on. 14 and 0, has nine KOs, and he's going after it early on. Closing moments of the second round. There's that step to the side move by Pierre. Doesn't seem to phase Leon Pearson. And that is the end of the second round. Round three scheduled for six. Leonard Pierre in the white trunks from Catskill, New York against Leon Pearson in the dark trunks from Detroit, Michigan. And Pearson, his nickname is something to prove. He hasn't been proving it early on as Pierre clearly dominated the first two rounds. I, I've given this a, it's a shutout, two rounds and none for uh, Pierre. He's, he's real aggressive, Gus. He just keep the hands up a little bit, work that jab a little more. He's only 14 and 0, 24 years old, but he's got to work that jab more. Now Pierre slowing down a bit, continuing to stop Pearson. Pearson's defense is good, has that Floyd Mayweather style, only coming from the opposite side, giving him a lot of shoulder, keeping that lead hand down. But the uppercut is there for Pearson as he lands a combination. It looks like he's trying to lead, lead a trap with Pierre, just letting him come in, try and pop him coming in. You see Pierre right on top of him. Pearson scoring with the left-to-right combination, but Pierre right on top of him, backing him up on the ropes. 
Pierre doing a good job advancing but still working angles. He's showed an ability to step to his right and then throw that right hand. And you got to appreciate Pearson, even with the losing record, he's got the, the shimmy, knows how to duck down, get away from the punches, take a shot to the body and duck underneath, but he's getting tagged right there. There's a great combination by Pierre. Misses with a wild right hand at the end as Pearson backs him up. And Pearson with a great right hand. And it momentarily stops Leonard Pierre. Pierre's starting to go backwards just a little bit. Here comes Pearson to the body, back up to the head. Pierre may be out of gas here in the third round. Pearson wisely taking his time. But Pierre continues to come forward. Oh, a great right jab. Just caught him coming in. And a left hook by Pierre, followed by a right hand. Pearson is in trouble on the ropes now, but still moving. Yes, there's a lot of punches, Gus. And he has exerted a lot of energy. What a fight. Three rounds. Looks like someone's cut. And maybe a headbutt. As Pearson is taken into his corner by Ken Ezzo, the referee. Rick Weinstein is the ringside doctor out of White Plains, New York. And he says that Leon Pearson is okay to fight. Cut over the, the left eye. Lead left hook, followed by a right hand by Pearson. Another right hand. Oh, he really wants to catch this kid coming in, but he's got to set himself. But Pierre still game. Pearson backing up, closing moments of the third round. What a fight. And we are at the end of three. An ugly cut over the left eye of Leon Pearson. Pearson a lot busier in the third round. Here's the lead left hook again landing by Pearson. In the black trunks, Leonard Pierre, the Haitian-born fighter in the white trunks from Catskill, New York. There's a right jab connecting for Pearson as he backs up. Pearson has yet to throw the uppercut or really establish himself going to the body, but he should be the more energized fighter for the final three rounds. And, you know, he went to the body earlier in the fight, but he would just flurry like a quick one, two, three and stop. That would have kept on working to wear down this young kid because Pierre just keeps coming forward, keeps coming forward. So if you could take a shot, you go to the body to wear him down, but Pearson's not doing that. And sometimes you can see Pierre's just a little over anxious, just gets in there. Another low blow by uh, Pearson. There's, there's Pierre coming in again. Pearson, blood gushing from his left eye. That's a dangerous cut that Ken Ezzo has to pay special attention to. Pierre would have to hook to a right cross to try and get in there to, to open the cut up some more if he wanted to try and bust it open some more. But he's just flailing away with those shots to the body and up to the head again. There's that right hook again, missing this time. Both fighters exchanging punches. Pierre continues to pursue. Left hook lands big for Pierre. And Pearson is in trouble. A right hand by Pierre. And blood just all over the face of Leon Pearson. Pearson has that look of resolve, and I think I can't go much further. He's got the heart, but that cut's pretty bad. And the blood, blood is really coming out of that left eye. Ken Ezzo has to stop this fight. Ezzo looking inside, probably gets a doctor in there to take another look, and it is a bad cut. He's, he's got his hand up there just protecting the, the eye at that point. That He knows it's a bad cut. Referee should get in there right now. Just let the doctor look at it, at least. Pearson continues the fight, though. That is it. Stop Ken it. Ezzo's going to stop yeah. this fight. That's it. That's it. Way too much damage to the eye of Leon Pearson. I've never seen a, a, a guy actually put his hand up there to block the shot like that, and that's what he did. Is, is Gus and I are counting the blood splots all around us at ringside. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> with an official stop. time of two minutes and eight seconds into the fourth round, the referee stops the fight. The winner.
By way of technical knockout, Leonard Pierre Anasta.